What's up guys? We're gonna open up some mystery bags from Bomos. The mystery bags have been brought home. Now let's open them up on camera. Of course these are just loose video games for a cheap price and the reason why they're cheap is they don't have the cases, they don't like to sell them individually, and then sometimes they're in pretty rough condition, depending. Uh, so let's see what we can get. We spent a total of sixty-four thirty-eight. So let's see if we can get our money back, then some. And then this also helps me get money to buy the games that I do need for my collection. So here we go. We're gonna pretty much start it off in order. I'm gonna open up these GameCube things last because you don't see them that much. We're gonna start off with this mystery cartridge bag. Um, don't know what's gonna be in there, but I'm gonna guess Game Boy Advance, Atari, and maybe Game Gear or something. Let's see. Oof. I gotta see what that's worth, but it looks pretty rough. And we do have an Atari game as well. I think that's fair to say. We have a DS game. We got a PS Vita game. This might be worth it. I might have to see how much I even pay for this. We got Ice Age 2 for the Game Boy Advance. We paid $2.49. That is a great deal. After looking things up, the Uncharted for the Vita goes for $22, Ice Age $4, Beyblade $7, Berserk $6, and Super Return of the Jedi for the Super Nintendo is $16. Now, sometimes they're just trying to get rid of extra stock. Like I said, they don't like selling things without a actual thing, but this right here does work. I did test it. But you can tell it has like a little dent right here in the actual piece. So even though this is worth seven dollars, I'd probably only sell it for like two bucks. Who knows? Um, I'm probably just gonna try to bring some of this stuff in to GameStop, but some of this I'll probably sell on my eBay page, or I'll sell it to uh, Retro World in Springfield, Massachusetts. The actual Vita game and the Game Boy Advance game, I don't see anything wrong with them. They were even trying to sell them individually, um, but they probably sat for so long. This, like I said, is a little in rough condition. This is actually really great condition. Um, so I'll probably sell that. This works. This actually works. I tested it, but you can tell the label's a little messed up right there, and someone did uh, carve their name right there. So probably that's the reason why. But there's still people who would go out and buy this because they want to play the game. They don't care what the cart looks like. At least some of us do. Now we're going to get into some of the Wii stuff. So let's go. And the Wii's... Uh, the Wii uh, bundles are four ninety seven. Now I opened all of them. I didn't look at the discs yet, but you can see a little some of you can see a little bit of damage on one of them already. But we're gonna go to this pile first. We have Deca Sports 2 or Deca. We have Resident Ear Resident Evil Zero. That's actually a really good game and it's actually decent condition. Um, I can see some scratches on it, but nothing that that won't be able to get buffed out. We have Skylanders Giants, Monster Jam, Urban Assault. Looks like uh, someone had some chocolate on there. That's disgusting. But like I said, they don't clean these discs. So what they do when you bring a disc into them, they actually only give you a penny for loose discs. So if you bring uh, your game system with a bunch of games and everything like that, and they just give you a price. Everybody just says accept. They don't realize that they're selling their game for a penny. But their loss is our gain. So the last one in this pack is going to be Monkey Mischief for the Wii. I don't know if that pack was worth it, but that was pack A. We're gonna see which pack had the best value. So that's pack A. We're going to see if B or C can beat it, and I'll let you guys know which 
one was the best at the end. You guys can put your thoughts and comments in below. Which one do you think is going to be the best one? A, B, or C? We got Go Play Circus Star. We have Greg Hestings Paintball 2. Hastings Training Camp. Um, interesting. Not quite sure why someone taped all of this to the desk. Weird. Unless that actually comes, I don't think it comes like that. I think it's from whatever rental this place is or something. Franklin Public Library, so that's probably what it's from. I can get that off. I'm gonna use probably some isopropyl alcohol, maybe. FIFA Soccer 09, and the last game in this one is We Play, which I do know is a pretty priced game, like a pretty decent priced game. It's not like crazy expensive or anything. We got NASCAR 2011, the game. Super Mario Galaxy? Oh, that's probably why. It's like pretty decent condition, but there's like a, a ring. So someone either did a bad buff or you had a bad disc reader that scratched it up. I remember when the Xbox 360 used to do that a lot. We got Wii Fit, which is dumb. Who cares about that? We got Big Brain Academy, Wii Degree, and then Wii Play. Um, my guess is going to be C, but I'll let you guys know. As I thought, C was definitely the highest because of Mario, of course. But number one, A, Resident Evil, that was pretty close. This pile was 30 bucks, this pile was 21, and this pile was $32. That was so, so, so close. So let's get on to the next one. Let's go to PS2. Let's open it up. And also guys, this was $2.97, no tax since it was New Hampshire, and also, sorry about the floor, I'm at a family's house right now until I do buy my house and get that all taken care of, Tekken Tag Team Tournament, that's a great start off, we got NFL 2K3, we got the iToy Play, again with that library stuff, Medal of Honor Frontline, we got MLB 07 the show. This one, I'm gonna say this is probably the cheapest pile we've done today. Uh, but it was three bucks. So let's see if we can make our money back. Yeah, this pile from GameEye says it's only worth about $24, but in reality, I would honestly sell the sports game for only a dollar, not $4. So technically it's just $7 for this whole pile. So this one's probably the worst to buy. But like I said, it's mystery, it's gambling. Let's go on to the next one. We got a big pile of Xbox 360. For this round, we're gonna see if we can try to find the most expensive disc here. Um, the first thing I wanna say is when I was opening all of them up, I ended up finding an Xbox One game in this pile. And also I can see just from looking on the tops of all of these, it looks like we're gonna go Assassin's Creed crazy. So let's get on to the first pile here. We got Mass Effect 2, disc one. We got Mass Effect 2 for the disc second one. We got Assassin's Creed. Let's see how many Assassin's Creed games we can get in this pile here. We got Perfect Dark Zero. We got Mafia 2. And we got Dynasty Warrior 6. We got Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Fable Anniversary. Saints Pro the Third, Assassin's Creed, Wolfenstein the New Order, Disc 1 and Disc 2 and Disc 3 and Disc 4. So we got all four discs for that. We got You Draw Instant Artist. We got Splitter Cell uh, Conviction. We got Mass Effect 3 again, Disc 1, 2, Resident Evil 5. And we got Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Like I said, a lot of Assassin's Creed came here. Your Shape, Fitness Evolved, Mass Effect. We got Assassin's Creed 3. Assassin's Creed 3, Disc 2 Multiplayer. We got Resident Evil. 
Xbox One. This is the second Xbox One game, I guess. And it's Assassin's Creed 2. We got Dead Space 3, Disc 1 and 2. We got Resident Evil Operations Raccoon City, Banjo Kazooie. We got Mass Effect. And we have Way of the Samurai 3. Man, there is a lot of Mass Effect. There's a lot of Resident Evil today and a lot of Assassin's Creed. All right, we got two more piles to go. We got Assassin's Creed Syndicate, Assassin's Creed Revelations, which like I said, that's an Xbox One disc. We got Naruto Storm of the Generations. We got Halo Reach. We have Final Fantasy disc one, two, and three for the 360. We got Brotherhood, Assassin's Creed, of course. We got Harry Potter, Lego. Got Alpha Protocol, Left 4 Dead 2, what? And Fable 3. Let's count them together. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten Assassin's Creed discs. And that is just crazy. We found our most expensive games out of the lot, and I don't know if I said it, but it only cost $5.97 per bag, which is not bad. So in last place, we have Left 4 Dead 2 for $13, Way of the Samurai $17, and Fable Anniversary $21. $21, this pretty much pays for a good chunk of what I got, and this thing is pretty pristine and it works I just tested it out it works so very happy about that that pretty much pays for all the 360 uh, bundles that we got now we are going to open the last two these both are game cubes are we gonna get anything more expensive than the $21 probably not but let's have some fun let's open it up let's go all right let's open this one up first No way. Okay. Madden 05. These are probably pretty scratched up, but I said we can get these buffed out. Monster House. Which, that's a great movie. Agent Under Fire 007. Pac Man World 2. And Mario Party 6. This has to be bad condition. It's actually not bad. What's up, camera? <laughs> All right. That I know is at least 50 to 60 bucks for that disc. So yeah, that disc has some chocolate on it. Just like the last, I think it was like maybe the PS2 games, I think. We got Lord of the Rings, disc one and two. We got 007 Nightfire, we got 007 Everything or Nothing, and then we got GoldenEye, wow, I guess this person was a big 007 fan who turned all these in, didn't have the cases for them, so they gave them a penny each, and they're pretty beat up, but, um, Mario Party 6, wow, that is a great mystery bag, definitely the highlight of the day. Well guys, we got a boatload of loose games today for a great, great, great price. Sixty-four thirty-eight for all of this. No tax because it was in New Hampshire. That is a steal of a lifetime. This Uncharted is perfect. It works and there's nothing wrong with it. There's no scratches or nothing. This works. It has a little damage. Who cares? This works perfect. This right here has engravings and stuff. That's why I went down. This has a little scratch, but I just tested it. It works perfectly fine. This works. That works. This works. And I haven't tested this because I don't have my Atari with me. But wow. We hit the mother load. We did it. What a great video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you guys would like to see more mystery bag openings, let me know. Drop it down in the comments below. If you are new here, consider hitting the subscribe button. Thank you so much for being here. Peace. Thanks for watching.
See you guys in the next video.